Hey, what's up guys? Diamond Gamer Pro here today and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to install Pokemon Emerald Kaizo onto your 3DS or 2DS and that includes the old or newer models because this is a Game Boy Advance ROM hack. So for those of you who do not know what Pokemon Emerald Kaizo is, it is a large enhancement hack for Pokemon Emerald, which includes so many different features, which can all be found on this website here. Every website that I use in today's video will be linked in the description below. So, Pokemon Emerald Kaizo, as you guys can see here, there is tons of different features. First off, a lot of difficulty enhancements, for example, no revives or any other items during battle, although your enemies can also not use them, and the only items that can be used are held items. This is obviously to make battles much more difficult. No potions, no status healing items, nothing that, that would happen in battle, you're not allowed to do that. Many of the fights are made much more difficult with specific teams for all of the opponents you face, especially all the bosses and mini-bosses. Gym leaders will all have six Pokemon of higher quality than most NPCs. So as you guys can see here, they have a lot of screenshots on this website just so you can take a look at all the really cool things they have here. So as you can see, you've got Flannery with a nine tails. So it is going to have a lot of Pokemon that are not always like in the Hoenn region. You're going to have Pokemon from Kanto and Johto as well as Hoenn because those are the, the three generations that are available in this game. So I'm not going to go over every single thing that's here because there is a lot, but I'll just quickly get, um, go over it really quickly just for those of you who don't know what it is but i'm sure a lot of you already do so as you guys can see here you have celebi level 100 so that's just a little hint that it'll be somewhere in the game evolution stones can be bought here Sloking and huntail evolved by water stone so there's also a lot of just quality of life improvements made to the game as well uh you can get all the other hoenn starters in evergrande city um, and once you're in the Elite Four, you can actually buy rare candies for $1, so it'll be really easy to get those Hoenn starters to the max level needed for when you're about to fight the Elite Four champions. So there's a lot of things here. There's some videos, and there's an entire thread with comments and all that other kind of stuff if you guys want to learn more about the game before you download. But... What you're going to actually need to do is head to the second link, and it's going to be this one right here, and this is the one that actually contains the download. So, what you're going to be downloading from this site, I actually have right here, it's this Pokemon Emerald Kaizo.ips, but I'll just show you guys that the download does work. So, if you just click on this download button right here, I don't know if there's going to be any other ads if they show up, regardless, it's this one right here, and all you need to do is there will give you a random password, you just have to copy it, so I'm just going to go in there, control C, Control v and press I am human. It's going to, going to give you a RAR file. If you guys don't have WinRAR, go ahead and download WinRAR. A lot of people have WinRAR, so, or any other way of opening, opening Dart.RAR files. So, open that up, and as you guys can see, the only thing here is this Pokemon Emerald Kaizo.ips. So, that's the exact file that's in that zip file that I already have extracted right over here into the Emerald Kaizo folder. Um, another thing you're going to obviously need is a Pokemon Emerald Game Boy Advance file, the .gba ROM. Um, these can be found online, and I'll also link a video that I made in the description which shows you how to get the Pokemon ROMs from your actual Game Boy Advance cartridge. So if you actually own a copy of the game, I showed you guys in that video how to actually take that ROM from that cartridge and put it onto your computer or DS or anything else for you to use that file. And the final link that we have here is the new Super Ultimate Injectors. This is going to allow us to take the Pokemon Emerald Kaizo, and not just Emerald, or not just the patch for it, and actually combine both of them into something that can be down, that can be installed and played on the Nintendo 3DS or Nintendo 2DS. So, if you click download beta 27, it'll just bring you to the link I already have open here. It's the same thing. And this link here is just a release folder, which has a bunch of things, and it's actually the new Super Ultimate Injector. I've used this in my past videos for installing Game Boy Advance games on a 3DS, um, Game Boy, Game Boy Color. I've used this before, and I already have it downloaded. As you guys can see, exact same thing that I have in this folder right here, in this release folder. It's the exact same thing as you guys can see right here. So, what you're going to actually want to do, once you have everything set up, as you guys can see, I have all of these. And I also have my Emerald Kaizo folder. This one image here is actually just a cover, um, a fan-made cover for Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. You guys will see in the program. I'm essentially just using that to create a custom icon for the game. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up the new Super Ultimate Injector for 3DS. And it'll open really quickly. Just have to give it a second to load. And I've received a lot of comments in the previous video that the default language was Spanish. I actually completely forgot about that. All you need to do to fix that is just go through and go to Tools, Options, give it a second to load. And as you guys can see, there is a language setting here. Obviously, it's not going to be in English, but the button layout is the exact same 
no matter which language it is. So for example, the default language was Spanish, so I'm going to have to restart the program. And once it restarts, you can quickly see that it looks like this. You just go to Tools, Options, and then set the language to English. So once you do that, you can restart the program again. And that's just for all of you people who had no clue what the program was saying. Regardless, the process is the same no matter what uh, language you're doing it in. So what you're going to want to do is just press File, New, and then Game Boy Advance CIA, or you can just press F5. So if I press F5, you guys will see it right here. It'll open up a new kind of template for your game. What I'm going to do is get the Pokemon Emerald.gba, and you're going to drag and drop it into the program. And you guys will see it can actually automatically load the name. But because this is just Pokemon Emerald, we're going to actually change that to Pokemon Emerald Kaizo version. And we're going to change that for both the short name and the long name. This is what our 3DS is going to recognize it as. And when we load an image from file, I'm going to load this cover right here and fit the image by height. So that way it fits much more specifically. Um, and it looks a lot nicer like that way in my opinion. Fit by width is just a little bit too zoomed in. And personally, I don't really like that. I like the fit image by height. Uh, you'll see here it imported the same one, but we're actually just going to download title screen because Emerald Kaizo does not have a custom title screen. It just has the exact same one as Emerald, so using the Emerald one there is not an issue. Uh, I'm also going to change the banner color. Once again, these are completely optional settings. This is just because I like it to look um, really cool. I like the green, for example, so it'll give me that green outline around Emerald. And we can actually change the text in here, too. I'm going to change it to Pokemon Emerald Kaizo version and in release 2004 i'm not actually sure when this rom hack was released i saw what the first website said 2017 the second one says 2020 so that was likely an update i'm going to put released 2017 all of this is completely optional you could really just leave it with the base pokemon emerald this is simply for me to make it look different and look cooler in my opinion um in regards to the title screen i actually do fit image by width for this one because of the height because of these black borders which i do not like so definitely going to be doing fit image by width there and then the last step that you're going to need to do, obviously, I would 100% recommend the GBA Virtual Console. I've tested this myself. It works, and I've tested on an old 2DS and old 3DS, meaning that you do not need the newer 3DS models for the game to work. The last thing you need to do is select this Apply IPS patch, and this is when your Pokemon Emerald Kaizo patch is going to come in. So once you have that there, you see Pokemon Emerald Kaizo.ips. That's what actually changes the game from Pokemon Emerald to Emerald Kaizo. Without that, you would actually just be installing Pokemon Emerald to your 3DS with the custom Kaizo title and icon. Um, but because of this, this is actually going to give it all those changes that I discussed through there and that are on that website. And I'm sure you can find other places in the web as well. So once you're done, all you're going to do is press Project, then Export CIA. And I'm saving it to my Emerald Kaizo folder. It's going to be a .cia file, which is a 3DS installable file. Give it a second to save there, and you should see a prompt that the CIA has been successfully exported. So if we go to this folder and I just reload it, you guys can see that Pokemon Emerald Kaizo version .cia is right there. Now the next step you're going to need to actually do is get your Nintendo 3DS, 2DS, New 3DS, any of those models, any of the 3DS models. Just get the SD card and insert it into your computer. So I'm just going to go get my SD card and cut to when I have it inserted into my laptop. All right. So as you guys can see, I now actually have both folders open. I have my Pokemon Emerald Kaizo folder, and this here is my SD card. It says USB drive because I have it connected through an adapter, but this is what your SD card will look like when you have a modded 3DS. So obviously your 3DS is going to be not modded, need to be modded for today's tutorial because there's no other way to install them. And I will, of course, leave a link in the description for how to mod your 3DS as I have in all my other videos. It's a simple process, and the link I have is actually a written guide, which is very in-depth and ensures that you do not make any mistakes, super safe, and allows for full customization of your DS. So, once you're done with that tutorial, you should have the CIA's folder, which is necessary for installing things on your 3DS. So get open up that CIA's folder, and you're just going to drag and drop the Pokemon Emerald Kaizo version .cia into there. That's the actual, the only file you need to try to copy over. Um, all these other, there's a lot of folders here that you may not have, that's fine, that's because I have a ton of things installed, such as on Amiibo cards, and DS emulators inside of there, a lot of these folders you may not have, some of them you may have, regardless, all you're going to need is a modded 3DS, and of course, that's CIA's folder, so, once you're done with this, you can safely eject your SD card, put it back into your 3DS, and I will cut to when I'm on my 3DS, and showing you guys how to install it on there. All right, so as you guys can see right now, this is my Nintendo 2DS, my new 2DS, but like I said, this works on all the models. 
So because your DS is modded, you should have FBI already installed. If you don't, then you almost guaranteed you do not have a modded 3DS. So what you're gonna need to do is open up FBI. And as you guys can see, it's going to load up pretty quickly. And there we go. Simply go to SD, scroll down to CIAs and Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. So if I can hopefully not knock my camera down, you guys can see it has that custom art that I put in there with the Emerald Kaizo name in the actual thing and not just a file name. So we're gonna simply press A to install and then press install and delete CIA and press A. This is not gonna actually delete the game, but rather just delete the unnecessary installation file because you're not gonna need that once the game is actually on your device. So it's a very, very small game, only 16 megabytes. I can almost guarantee that you'll have space for it and it does not take a long time to install. Once it's done, you can press any button and then just press B a bunch of times and press start to exit to your home menu. For me, that was actually instant and boom, new software has been added to your home menu. So if we look at the top, you can see that it is in fact Pokemon Emerald Kaizo version. And if we unwrap it, you can see that custom icon that I gave it there. It's really low resolution because that's just what my 3DS is at. I can try to get a more focused photo, but it's just a really low res photo. If I zoom into it all the way, you'll get a little bit of a better image just like that. However, I have my entire DS home screen set up to be on this size. So I'm just going to quickly move this into my Game Boy Advance folder because that's where I keep all my Game Boy Advance games, which almost all of them are Pokemon. So if we just scroll over here and go to Pokemon Emerald Kaizo, as you can see, we press A and it's going to launch into the game. It's just currently a black screen. I'll put my DS back on camera when it's not just going to be reflecting nothingness. Um, unfortunately though, you're not going to be able to tell much just from the title screen, because as I mentioned, the game does in fact just have the regular Pokemon Emerald title screen, but you'll be able to tell very quickly, as I did when I was first testing this game out, you can actually tell that the game does in fact only not let you use potions in battle, and I found a Spearow in the wild. It was my first wild Pokemon that I encountered, of course, aside from the Zigzagoon that the game guarantees for you. So, it does in fact just say Pokemon Emerald version, but I can guarantee this will give you Emerald Kaizo, not just Emerald. You guys can definitely try this out yourselves and leave a comment once it does work for you. I hope you guys all did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what other games you would want to see installed on your DS, Wii U, any kind of Nintendo console like that, and be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.